Hello students, this is Non-Flowering Plants, and today we're going to go over the life cycle of a leptosporangiate fern. The leptosporangiate ferns are the most diverse group of uh, plants that we call pteridophytes. Pteridophytes are plants that generally have this kind of life cycle. It's a life cycle in which we have a haploid stage that uh, is a gametophyte, of course, and a diploid stage that then grows off of that gametophyte. So the gametophyte claims new ground and the sporophyte becomes the dominant plant afterwards. We'll start with the egg and the sperm and those are of course haploid and then they get together at fertilization and form a zygote. That's the first diploid cell. That zygote divides and forms an embryo. That embryo forms a young sporophyte that is then growing off of the old gametophyte, and it'll kind of use up all of the energy of that old gametophyte. It keeps on growing uh, and takes over the place where it's growing. The gametophyte's long gone, and that sporophyte will usually live on for years and years and make innumerable spores. Here's the uh, morphology of a polysticum. It has a rhizome, which is an underground stem. And then roots grow off of that rhizome, and leaves grow off of that rhizome. In polysticum, the leaves are compound, so it has a main midrib called a rachis. And then off of that, there are a series of pinnae. Each uh, penna looks like a leaf, but it's actually just part of a leaf. In other ferns, you could have it even more divided, and then the ultimate segments would be called pinules. In polysticum, if you look at the bottom of the leaf, then there's a series of little spots that are called sori. Each sorus then is a cluster of sporangia and associated structures. So here's a sorus, and then we have a blow-up of the sorus. We have a whole bunch of leptosporangia in this cluster and an endusium, which in polysticum is a shield-shaped structure. In different ferns, the endusium is shaped in all sorts of different ways, and that's useful for identifying them. If we look closely at one of these leptosporangia, we can see that in polysticum and a great many other ferns, there's an annulus on one side, and that annulus consists of some cells that are very thick-walled in most sides, but they're thin-walled on another side. What that means is that as they dry, the water inside of them uh, pulls back and it makes the thin-walled places shrink and it causes the thick-walled places to be under strain. At some point, that water column will break and it'll then catapult the spores out. So here's some spores. Those spores, of course, were formed during meiosis from sporocytes. So the sporocytes were diploid and we had meiosis and it formed haploid spores. The spores disperse. That's still the stage that claims new ground in pteridophytes. Uh, and lucky spores will land in places that are suitable. Of course, many spores land in places that are not suitable. The spores that are lucky um, will then grow up to be gametophytes. And in some sense, the niche of the gametophyte determines where the fern can grow, at least partially. These gametophytes are heart-shaped or maybe kidney-shaped in many species. They uh, could have both antheridia and archegonia. The usual situation is for the first spore that lands in a place, uh, it'll mature first to be a female, and then it'll secrete pheromones out into the substrate called antheridiogens. That will stimulate other gametophytes to grow up to be male. If there are no other gametophytes, then that female gametophyte will eventually keep on growing and make antheridia itself. So it will be cosexual, but it's displaced in time. Okay, we can uh, zoom in here and look closely at an antheridium, and of course it has jacket cells, and sperm are contained within, and an archegonium, which has neck cells and canal cells. The canal cells dissolve at maturity, allowing the sperm access to the egg at the base of the archegonium. So if we go back to the overall view again, the life cycle of pteridophytes is one in which the gametophyte 
grows from a spore that has claimed new ground. So the gametophyte is the initial stage of that spot on the earth. And then the sporophyte grows off of the gametophyte and becomes the dominant plant that lives longer and photosynthesizes more and is a major stage of the life cycle. And that's all that I had to say about that.